Hello, so I so, just uh, received a package uh, that I ordered. It's uh, the new rotary engine. Well, it's not so new. It's uh, This model is actually, I believe, from 2006 or 2007 and forward. Uh, I used to have three of those engines uh, before that I sold. Uh, there was a Type 1 model. And uh, the Type 1 is actually not the first OS rotary. Uh, the first one had a side uh, intake port uh, and the second one had a periphery port uh, just as this one but I'm going to disassemble this engine uh, here on camera <laughs> just to show you uh, how it's built and uh, how it's uh, working so let's see first of all uh, this engine is uh, as you can see equipped with a carburetor that is uh, a little bit different from the old one. It's it has a intake funnel like a Venturi funnel type and a, a high speed needle that is bent ba backwards for easier access. When the prop is spinning in the front, uh, you won't be uh, hurting yourself just as easy. So let's start up. First of all, <laughs> we are going to use uh, just standard uh, tools that I have here at home. I know that some people uh, don't recommend uh, dis disassembling these engines because uh, they say that if you put anything uh, wrong back together, it just won't work. And of course, that is true. If you put it wrong together, it won't work. But it isn't uh, just as complicated. It only has two moving parts, so <laughs> it's the uh, rotor and the, the centric shaft. Uh, I have to apologize for the camera work. <laughs> I couldn't get the focus both on the uh, back uh, and, and the front at the same time, and the uh, autofocus was just not working. So. I just set the focus uh, a little bit in the front of the towel and uh, we are going to do the best we can. Yeah, I am going to do the best I can. So I just had to get some uh, more tools because uh, I uh, the carburetor is fastened with uh, two Phillips screws and I uh, didn't bring a screwdriver. So I got two screwdrivers and a beer so we can keep on working and uh, now we're going to this this is uh, attach the carburetor from the engine uh, the big screwdriver I brought with me just because I know that the counterweight is uh, hold uh, with a uh, flat uh, screw that is very very large however I know that the groove is very thin so I don't know if uh, that screwdriver will fit but we'll see now the mot motor mount uh, on this engine is very interesting. It is uh, built out of uh, aluminium as you can see and it is uh, shaped as a uh, Wankel uh, rotor. So it's uh, <laughs> quite a nice touch. I like it. Uh, so you actually take this uh, motor mount that I just took off here or take it off and you just bolt it on the pl on a plane, aeroplane or something, or just <coughs> bolt it on a stationary test bench or something, and then just bolt in the engine, and it's done. Now this uh, little hose here uh, is interesting. This is going uh, coming from uh, the compartment where the ca counterweight uh, spins, so it's like. Uh, uh, a crank house ventilation kind of uh, however it's uh, redirected back to uh, to the carburetor so uh, I'm guessing that they want to reuse the oil that uh, will uh, come out of the fuel that will still be in the engine and of course in a rotary engine uh, lubrication is important
So now you can see the core of the engine. It's very small, it's very tiny. Uh, and now you can al almost see the apex seals, I believe. When I spin the rotor as they pass the intake and the exhaust port. <coughs> now on, on this engine uh, uh, they have put a glow plug that is uh, not uh, the same as the old uh, glow plug. Uh, on the old engines they have had a special rotary engine glow plug that was called uh, OSRE for rotary engine. Uh, it was a hot glow, glow plug, just because it uses a lot of fuel, so it it uh, would put it uh, put put the glow plug out very easily. Uh, now on this engine, I can see that they use actually just the usual uh, four-stroke glow plug, so it's an OSF glow plug. Uh, I don't know if it is because the engine. Uh, uh, have a, has a better combustion maybe or just because they just don't want to make uh, extra special glow plugs for this engine. Four stroke glow plugs are hot. Now, <coughs> when you uh, take off the back cover of the engine, uh, you will find uh, that there is a, a counterweight, just as I mentioned before. Uh, and the counterweight is held down with one single screw that is actually threaded uh, as a left, left thread. So you uh, unscrew it like you usually tighten a screw. Uh, and this is important because if you <laughs> try to unscrew it as usual you will uh, just uh, break the screw. Now of course this is not for the back cover screws like here it's uh, on the screw inside uh, that will come up in a second. Later on I'm going to uh, do a little film on uh, reassembling the engine and uh, after that I'm planning on mounting the engine in uh, some kind of an airplane, RC, air, uh, RC plane, so, so we can start it up and you can see that also. And uh, I will of course fly the plane with this engine. Now you can see there that the counterweight actually touches the back cover oh. for some reason. Uh, I was thinking that the counterweight must be loose and uh, it felt like it from the beginning but it, it actually wasn't. So I just need to check the end play of the engine when uh, everything is tightened down. Maybe it wasn't tightened in the front so, uh, so the counterweight uh, was spinning against the back cover. I have to check that out. And of course my screwdriver didn't fit. So I had to take a little one, a smaller one. <laughs> <laughs> 